You know, this is one of my favorite players of the 80s into the 90s. He could hit for power, could steal a base. Very strong at the plate, a poor man's Eric Davis. Eventually became a World Series champion and later on became a star in Japan. So I don't want to brag this guy up too much because his last name suffices it for me, Glenn Braggs. Now, Glenn Eric Braggs is an American, a former MLB player, who also played in Nippon Professional Baseball League. He was outfield and a designated hitter. Now, the native of San Bernardino, California, a beautiful community. He was a member of the Cincinnati Reds team that defeated the A's four straight in the 1990 World Series. He's also alumnus of the great University of Hawaii at Manoa. Now, drafted by the Brewers in the second round of the 83 Major League Baseball draft, Braggs made his Major League debut with the Brewers on July 18, 86. Starting in left field and batting fifth, he went one for four of 6-1 road loss to the Oakland Athletics. His first career hit was a six-inning single off Joaquin Andahar. He hit the first of his 70 career home runs on August 2nd with a two-run shot, a tape measure actually, off Charlie Huff. He had his best season in 89, hitting 15 homers and 66 RBIs with 17 stolen bases and a 247 batting average. Now, after starting the season batting 248 with three homers and 13 RBIs in 37 games, the Brewers uh, made a big mistake. He was traded along with Billy Bates, who was a big part of the Reds in a, in a utility lo- role, uh, fr- uh, from the Brewers for Ron Robinson and Bob Sebra on June, June 9, 1990. He played a key role in, as a Reds advance to the NL League playoffs. In 231 plate appearances, he hit six homers with 28 RBIs and a 299 average. Kind of a poor man's Devon White in that the part of the season. In the 1990 NLCS against the Pirates, he went one for five, but had a huge impact on the series. In the top of the ninth inning of game six, with one on and one out, the Reds were clinging to a 2-1 lead. Braggs eventually robbed Melo Carmelo Martinez on a possible go-ahead home run, reaching up and snagging a long fly at his, as he's back at the wall for the second out of the inning. The Reds then advanced to World Series. Now, in the fall class, he went 0 for 4, but had two RBIs and one base on balls as the Reds won the World Series over the heavily favored Athletics. He played two more seasons for the Reds, appearing in his final MLB game on September 10, 92, where he hit a home run in his final at-bat. Then went over to the Nippon League, where he batted 300 with 91 homers and 260 RBIs for the Omaha Bay Stars from 93 to 96. Now, known for his upper body strength, you can see the video on YouTube, he, in fact, once snapped a bat on a check swing. When he stopped his swing, he put so much force on the ball, bat to stop it and it sheared off just above the grip, whatever touching the ball, freaking out Tim McCarver, which, of course, doesn't take much to, to freak out that crackpot. In the second inning game for the 90 World Series, this took place. He swung so hard at a pitch from A's Dave Stewart that the bat broke on his back on the follow through. Now, uh, Braggs also has a big connection to music. He's married to singer Cindy Harrow, also known as Cindy Harrow Braggs of the R&B female group on Vogue. They have four children, and he currently is a real estate agent in the LA era, area. And of course, uh, he keeps a great diet. He's a well noted vegan. He's done publicity for that before. Now, how important was Glenn Braggs to the Brewers and the Reds? Now, let me put this in perspective. Every team needs a, a number six or a number seven hitter that can get you 15 homers, 60 RBIs, hit about 280, get about 15, 20 RBIs. I mean, 20 stolen bases. It all uh, connects to what you need to do on that uh, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I think why Braggs is so well remembered is because he always, always did something at the plate, even though he didn't hit for average like like in, in later situations when he was Japan. He was one of the most popular players. And a lot of people believe that the uh, movie Mr. Baseball had a lot of connections. You know, that Tom Selleck movie, the Danny Haybart uh, character was kind of, uh, you know, inspired or was uh, thought of when he he did the movie. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're doing here, we're a Vintage Cincinnati Red Podcast. Let us know what a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And the thing is, it doesn't take much to be be an overnight sensation. Sometimes it's a catch. Sometimes it's a broken bat and a bat over your back. Sometimes it's the respect of the media. We really respected Mr. Braggs because we only brag up certain people, but he could back it up. Ladies and gentlemen, he should have been a Blue Jay, but it never worked out or an expo. Thanks for listening. Bye.